Next, we're going to create a contact page, and that includes doing everything on this page, which includes uh, putting this image in the background, putting these uh, hello, talk to us, and our contact information, and also putting in this contact form and this cool orange bar right here. So let's get to it. It's pretty easy. Um, to do that, we obviously have to go to our contact page. And we have to make it full width. A lot of web stuff is doing the same things over and over again. So just uh, click on full width and make it full width page and press update. Then go to view page. And now it's full width without the sidebar, which is nice. And then click on page builder and it should disappear. Once we do that, we're now going to get a big image in here, just like this, this big image. So let's uh, drag in one column and let's edit the row settings and make it full width. And let's put in an image there. So let's do a photo and let's select photo. And the photo that we're going to select after we click on upload files and select files is going to be the do 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 Google contact JPG. All right, once that is uploaded, press select photo. And that should go in there. You see it, it's small, but it's in there. And what we're going to do now is uh, add in that orange bar at the bottom that will separate our page. If you don't remember what that looks like, here is the orange bar that we're going to add in. All right, it's super easy. We just scroll down to the bottom and we under border, we uh, make it solid. And we do that same color orange because we want it to be consistent with everything or whatever your color scheme is. Maybe it's not orange. FF6E40. And we can see that added to the top and, and to the bottom. It's kind of cool to have a color at the top. So if you want to make that bigger, you just press five. Um, but we're only adding a color to the bottom. So we're going to make it six. And you can make a whole box if you want. You can make this two, and you can make this six, and you can make a cool little box, which is a, a neat effect, but not what we're going for. So we're going to keep the top at zero, the left and right at zero. And we're just going to have this bottom six pixels wide border. All right, once we're done with that, we can press Save. Then we're going to add in some more content, and we're going to add in a heading. So just click, hold, and drag. And this is going to say hello. Whoops, H E L L. Whoops, caps lock. In all caps, and it's going to have a comma. And this is going to be 60 pixels uh, tall. And the color is going to, the font weight is going to be light. And the color is also going to be a little lighter. So maybe we'll go with 60. Whoops. Six. D6060. There it is. All right. And so that is looking pretty good, but we need more space up here. And to do that, we can just go to advanced. And for the top, let's add 150 pixels of space. And for the bottom, since we're going to put like um, a talk to us right here, we don't want it to be have a whole bunch of space. We're going to make that bottom zero. So bottom, we're going to do zero. And left and right, we could keep at 20. That's fine. And press save. Now we're going to add in another headline. So add content, another heading, I mean. And we're going to click, hold, and drag right under the first one. Then we're going to put talk to us, dot, dot, dot. And we're going to, again, make that 60. And we're going to make it light. And we're going to make the color 60, 60, 60 again. All right. And after we do that, we're going to make the top and bottom margin zero. So it gets closer to this. And we're going to make the bottom zero because we want to put text underneath here also. And we're going to press Save. So once we do that, we can add more content. 
and we're going to add a text editor. We're going to click, hold, and drag right underneath the talk to us. And I'm just going to say you, whoops, not in caps though. You can email us at tylermore at gmail.com. I guess you're just emailing me. Or, and then I'm going to hold shift and press enter. So it doesn't make a big paragraph. It just goes to a new line. So shift enter. Instead of going like this, it makes a big paragraph. You can hold shift enter and it just goes right under and it makes a new line. Call us at, and my phone number, 310, whoops, 743-3190. Okay, so um, once we do that, we want to, again, uh, adjust all of the margin and padding. So we go to advanced and the margin, we're going to do zero at top so it's closer to this right here. So zero and then 20 and then left. You see how it's like kind of not aligned with this? We can make it like indent more if we just press left 30. And so now it looks aligned and 20. Okay, so that's fine. We press save and that is looking pretty good. The next thing that we have to do is we have to get in a contact form here. All right, so people can fill it out and you know send it to you and it'll go to your email. All right, so how do we do that? It's pretty easy. Let's press done and let's press publish changes. All right, so by default, WordPress doesn't have a contact form. So we need to get a plugin in order to, um, for WordPress to have the ability to have this, this contact form right here. All right, so to do that, we go to our, our dashboard and we go to plugins on the left. And on the top, we click add new. And we can search for plugins. So this one is called contact form seven. Contact form seven. And just go ahead and search for it. And it's been installed over a million times and it has 840, you know, almost five star ratings. And so we can, we can just, you know, assume that it's a pretty good contact form. So let's press install now. And we can press activate plugin. Now our plugin is activated. And now we see this new uh, area over here that says contact on the left. And if we click on it and click on this contact form, we can edit all the fields, but I'm not going to get into that uh, now. But what we want to make sure is that uh, under mail, it has our email address so that it goes to us. Now, sometimes when you when uh, people send mail at first, it'll go into the spam. So we have to just go into the spam folder and mark it as not spam. Um, all right, so we have it going to our email address. This is the code if we click on contact. This is the code that will insert that form. So we just click on it and we copy it. All right, once that is copied, we can go ahead and visit our site and go back to our contact page. And now we can continue with it. So let's go to page builder and let's drag in a new column. Click, hold and drag and wiggle it to the bottom. And for this, we are going to um, edit the row settings and make it full width. And we're going to change the color a little bit of the background, just so it gives a nice, easy break from this white to a, to a gray. So click on color and click on the eyedropper. And we're going to do FC, FC, FC. It's just a little off white. All right, once we do that, we're going to press save. And now we are going to add content and add a text editor right in that column. And instead of clicking visual, we're going to click text on the right here because um, we don't want to paste in the code on visual. Code always goes into the text field. So click on text and just paste that in there. And now this is the code called a short code. Um, that will insert that contact form. 
All right. So just click on save and it inserts it right now. But right now, again, where we had the issue before with the text going all the way across, it goes all the way across too far. So we don't want to do that. We want it to um, uh, have some space on the left and space on the right. So let's click on that wrench icon again. And let's go to advanced. And on the top margin and bottom margin is fine. It's just the left needs to be 200 and the right needs to be 200. And therefore, it um, looks a lot better. It's a lot easier on the eyes. It's not so big. Then press done and publish changes. And we are done with making our pages and creating our contact form. That's freaking awesome. All right, so now that we're done with that, we can go ahead and mark off our progress and see that we are 81% done, so we're super close.